Okay, so we are now going to begin. We're going to work on multiplication here. I think we're only going to multiply monomials in this section. <clears throat> Remember what a monomial was. It was just one group. So we're multiplying gr groups of one together. And now we're going to need our exponent rules. And so let me go back. I thought that this was, I do these out of order sometimes. So I'm going to refresh you on what I meant here. I think I should have spent some more time. Okay, so add, subtract, same, multiply, divide, different. I showed this in an earlier video, but now we're at the multiplication, and I don't know that we've actually seen it before. So here's what I'm saying. We're now putting together two different groups, but we're now multiplying them. If I were adding like terms, 3x squared plus 2x squared, I'm adding and subtracting. So the team name, the x squareds, are going to stay the same. I'm either adding or subtracting, they stay the same. So this becomes 5x to the second. The team name stays the same. But now we're multiplying, and we'll see the same with division. If I'm multiplying two different teams, like x to the second and x to the third, we saw that this is added together. This becomes x to the fifth. So if you add or subtract, those team names stay the same. But if you multiply them or divide them, they will become different. And like we see here with this multiplication, they will add up. So let's see. Yeah, let's use theirs here. So they're multiplying these two monomials. Now, this just means they rearrange them. Even though it's parentheses, everything here is being multiplied. We've discussed before that we can put them in any order we want to multiply them. So they put the numbers together and the idle notes together. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. Now, x to the second time x to the third, there's five x's there. And we know our shortcut is we could just add those up. OK, so we're going to rearrange this one. They put the numbers together. They put all the x's together and the y's together because it's all just multiplication, big run of multiplication. So 5, 6 times 12, those are going to reduce down. That's how they got 10. There's three x's, one more. You can add that up. Got one y, two more y's. You can add that up. And that's how they get this. All right, now this section does not have a great deal of examples. So please make sure that you're tracking with this because we're going to move on. I, I'm assuming we move on to the next one to more complicated versions where we're going to have to distribute, multiply larger polynomials. So let's put these together. So this is the same as 5 times negative 7. So I'm just rearranging them. But what you can see is really we're going to multiply the numbers, and I get negative 35. We're going to multiply the y's. And if I multiply the y's, that means you can add them up. Add up, up the exponents, you get y to the 11th. OK, so instead of rearranging those, I'm going to do that this way going forward. I'm going to multiply the numbers. Remember what that's like. I can reduce that down. 2 times 3 is 6. It's going to be over 1, so this just gets me 6. Now I can put the a's together. a to the 4th, and i got one more a. I add that up. I've got 5 of them. I've got 3 b's here and 3 b's there. I'm multiplying those, so that means I can add them up. Okay? So I would get this. Okay, let's try another one. Pause it if you want to try on your own. So I'm going to multiply the numbers. I could, If you want to, you could write these out so everything's sitting next to each other, but it's not going to change anything. So I'm going to just go ahead and multiply them. So a negative and a negative are going to make a positive 54. I've got four Bs there, five of them there. I've got a total of nine. Now I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to do the numbers. Now I'll pull this over here because fractions are never easy. I can reduce that down. Do you see that's going to be 8 over 1 or just 8? I've got 5 R's being multiplied by 6 R's. You can add those up. I got 1 S and, and 7 S's. I can add those up. Okay. Yeah, I guess we're, we're going to. Yeah, I think I see where we're going with this. But we're going to do a mul uh, multiply a polynomial by a monomial. So what we're going to do here, it's the same idea as if I had this. I'm going to need to distribute. 
whatever's being multiplied is going to get distributed. Well, it's a polynomial now, so he's going to go there, there, and there. So basically we're going to do three of the same type of problem we just did. Let's let them show us with everything written. They're showing it. So they've multiplied it all out. So that's the first problem. Negative 2y times 4y to the second. Here's the second problem. And here's the third. Now, I don't like the way they showed that all that much, but okay. So we have three problems that are just like before. Well, we know how to do that. I'm going to do negative 2 and 4 is negative 8. I got a y and two more y's. That's y to the third. Sorry, that's really small. Now this middle one here. Yeah, I wonder what they were doing. I have negative two and three is negative six. I'm going to show that as a subtraction sign because these are different groups. I've got a y and y. That's two y's. Now I would have thought of this as negative five times negative two, which is a plus. And because it's a new group, I'm going to put a plus there, plus ten and there's no one for that y to join up with, and I would be done. Okay, now, they didn't show the arrows, but we're doing this whole group times each of these. So now they've written it out here. Yeah, so that's the first group times the x to the squared. That's it times that second group. That's it times that third group. Now, let's see if they've got this all done. So we would put together here, the only thing that can combine here are these x's. I've got three of them there, two of them there, so I get x to the fifth. Now I'm multiplying through the numbers together, and so now I'm working on this one. Multiplying the numbers together, that's negative 24, but it's a new group, so I'm going to show it as subtraction. x to the third times x, there's four of them, there's a couple of y's. This last group here, the only thing that goes together is a couple more y's, so I've got 3x to the third, y to the third. Okay, let's multiply through here again. So we're going to send him to each of these. Now I'm going to do it like I would normally do it. I'm going to just do this each part here in my head. If you want to do them long way, check yourself. So I'm doing negative 3 times 5. It's negative 15. A y times two more y's. There'd be three total y's there. Now I'm going with all of this to the second one. So negative 3 and 8. It's negative 24, but I'm going to show it a subtraction because it's a new group. y and y are y squared. Now he's going to the last one. Negative 3, that's like a negative 7. That's a plus 21. And because it's a new group, I'm going to put the plus the y just comes along for the ride. Okay, we're going to do it again here. So I'm doing him times that first group. The numbers multiply, I get 12. x to the second times another x to the second, there's now four x's, I add those up. The y to the second doesn't have anyone to join. Okay, now I'm doing this second one. 4 and negative 5 are negative 20. It's a new group, so I'm showing that negative like subtraction. Got two x's there and one more there. I get x to the third. I get y to the second here and y. I get y to the third. Now this times this gets me 12. x to the second doesn't have anyone to join with. y to the second and y to the second is y to the fourth. Okay, we've got one more of these. I'd really recommend you, you, you pause this and try this on your own. But I'm going to go start. This guy is going to each of those. Okay, so this times this. So the 4 times the 2 gets me an 8. There were two x's. There's two more. I get to the 4th by adding them. Okay, now I'm going to this one. 4 and negative 3 is negative 12. I'm going to show it like subtraction because it's a new group, x to the second and x, get x to the third. Four and five gets me 20, x to the second. And that one's done. Now, let's do another one. We're going to all of these. So, doing this first group, negative six times three is negative 18. I've got three a's there, two more there, I've got a to the fifth. 
Now we're ready for the second group. Negative 6 and a negative 2. Plus 12. New groups. I'm showing it like addition. 3a is there. 1a there. I've got a to the fourth. 1b there. 1b there. Add this up to b to the second. Okay, I've got one more group. Negative 6 times 6. Negative 36. Showing it like subtraction. a to the third doesn't have anyone to partner with, so I'll just leave it like that. B and B to the second gets me, add those up, there's now three Bs. All right, this is a very important section without a whole lot of examples, so make sure you understand it, and if you need to go back through and try them again, I'd really recommend that you do that.